hello this video will be showing you how to add uh, funds using your foreign bank accounts if you have a foreign bank or a foreign card in this video i'll be using my foreign card from the uk all right and then next thing we want to do is to set our currency base we go to settings and choose currency make sure you set um usd to be the currency of your account and then you want to choose the payment currency to become euro binance allow you to deposit funds using the euro currency so the euro cards but that's just really not euro cards let's say so after you've done that you want to go back to the front there and select buy with euro select the coin you want to buy and buy the usd coin so enter the amount in euro and you should know the equivalent in in dollars so I'll be getting an equivalent of 124 USDT and then you enter the card details. Alright, I'll set my card details and um, enter the CCV, CCV card details and the name on the card. Right now the name on my card, that was the, the initial name I had when I created your account and you enter the address. You can decide to use any address because this very interface here does not verify the address on the card. So I decide to enter my local address here in Nigeria, but the country must be the originating country of the card. So my card is originated from the UK, so you go straight to the UK to select the card just in case there is a need for such verification. Of course, there should be because uh, your card cannot be from Nigeria. And then when you've done that, it's going to have this preview. Click on the confirm button to confirm the transaction. If everything goes smooth and your card is well funded or you have enough money in your card, it should be successful. Otherwise, it's going to decline the transaction. But in this case, I hope it's successful. I've not tried this before. Okay, it's working. Good, it worked. It has been successfully um, credited to my account because of the charges. I'm having 122.919 USDT. That's all right. That's it on that. So the next thing we want to do is to um, withdraw this money using the P2P network. The first thing is to transfer the money from your sport wallet. But before we do that, we need to go change the currencies back to Nigeria to an NGN so that we can have accurate uh, conversion rates of course have the Nigerian sellers so change everything back to Nigeria and then you're good to go okay so now we go to uh, our wallets and spot wallets we want to transfer the money from the spot wallet to the P2P wallet whenever you want to sell your money you must transfer to the P2P Select the currency, the, the, the coin that you want to move to the P2P wallet. Click on Max if you want everything in that very wallet currency to be transferred or you enter the exact amount you want to transfer. When that is done, you click on the P2P trading and click on Sell. Make sure you click on Sell because you want to sell. And then you want to do um, the filter as usual. Make sure you select only from merchant. If you're having the network issue, just keep refreshing by sliding down the screen. I was having a little bit of network issue here. So keep sliding down to refresh until it's good. All right, the network is back. I would like to use the um, Express Express cell. What this does, it, it makes it select the best risk for you and makes it very quick. So I'm selling everything I have by choosing Max and then confirm. So this time you should have your payment details um, set up. I have a video for that. So I'll be sending this to my GT Bank account. The current rate for that is 507 Naira per dollar. And I'll be having that amount so you see up there. Click on sell this and then you wait for some time, maybe a few minutes. And this seller will be there to send the money all right that's it the that send the money but you do not confirm do not confirm or release the coin until you have seen that the money is actually in your bank account so i'll go to my gt bank app now and confirm this name that uh, the person that actually paying the money so go to my bank app and uh, log in 
okay <coughs> all right I check my savings account all right that's it it has dropped just now it dropped okay and I'll confirm the name of the seller the buyer that bought this uh, money that bought this USDT okay it's the same name I saw there Abdullah right so that's it Abdullah here is Zakaria so I can now click on confirm Binance will always ask you to enter your code they will send you your form your OTP code that's my OTP code now enter that code and boom you successfully released the money to the seller to the buyer and your money is now in your bank account so this is how you can buy and sell the p2p network and how to add card please never you try to use a nigerian card for this because your account will be blocked the card you see on the screen is my foreign card which i use to do this transaction if you want to know how to get this um, cash you can contact me for that and remember you have a little fee to pay for this all right thank you for your time thanks for watching i hope this video was very helpful do have a wonderful day if you have any question please get back to me as usual thank you